All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. It is the Earth Master out here, 9.56 a.m. That's California time here, February 2nd, 2025. Super windy out here. I had gusts up to 60 miles an hour here in Northern California last night. Still blowing pretty crazy, but the stream looks like it's up. Earthquake activity. Going to start off here in the uh, area of Greece where we're watching a big time earthquake swarm key up here, including including the latest quake on the globe, which is a 4.9 earthquake. Now, the consistency here of these quakes and the multitudes and the magnitudes increasing is a good sign here that we're probably looking at a magmatic intrusion here underneath this uh, volcano area. Now, there's uh you got the big volcano over here uh, called the uh, Santorini, right? If I remember right, that uh, is an area that's seen uh, some big time eruption activity there. Oh, uh, back in 16 BCE, 1600 BCE, big time eruption. And there's a couple other volcanoes that sit here across this volcano rift zone. And it looks like the Colombo volcano is where this activity is stirring up right now. That's a lot of earthquake activity here. This is just in the last uh, 24 hours alone. Big time. Um, a couple different articles here uh, that I found regarding this uh, volcano, this underwater volcano. This article is put out in 2023. Uh, talks talks about the ma uh, presence here of the magma chamber underneath this area. Um, looks like the last eruption is fairly recent in terms of geology speaking, 1650, right? So, uh, and that's common air. Colombo breached the sea surface and erupted, uh, causing some deaths there in the Santorini area. Now, that is not the eruption that happened back in 1600 BCE. That's much further back in time um, compared to the common era. Uh, but it uh, looks like they believe that the magma chamber right now is reaching a similar volume at this uh, Colombo volcano compared to uh, the 1650 earthquake or uh, eruption that happened back then. Uh, this eruption, not to be confused with the catastrophic uh, Santorini volcanic eruption that occurred in 1600 BCE, was triggered by a growing magma reservoirs beneath the surface of Colombo. Now researchers say the molten rock in the chamber is reaching a similar volume. Now this was put out in 2023, so wow, two years ago already, right? That's crazy. me i'm thinking here that we're gonna see an eruption pretty soon it looks like some type of big time magma intrusion here's a little map there's the santorini area the colombo sea uh, under sea mount or underwater volcano sits here to the northeast and that's kind of where we're seeing all that earthquake activity uh there's a let me bring up the other map here there's a lot to look at and a lot to discuss uh, but I think this is definitely uh, something that needs monitoring uh, very closely. A, a couple websites have picked up on it, but uh, I think this is turning out to be something much bigger here soon. Any type of explosive underwater volcano can produce a massive tsunami. And of course, this area is quite, uh, quite populated, I should say. That's just the last 24 hours. That is a lot of earthquake activity. If we go back the last two weeks, well, as you can see, uh, it's quite a bit more, a little bit more closer to the uh, Santorini area. Uh, but nonetheless, that's, uh, man, a decent amount of uh, earthquake activity. And looking at these depths here, let's check out the last hour of some of these uh, bigger ones. 4.9, 10 kilometers deep. 13 kilometers deep for 4.7. See, these magnitudes are getting bigger. Let me go back over here to the USGS map. Uh, USGS reporting a fraction of the earthquakes, but it's starting to get noticeable here. Again, it's around the Sea of Crete. Uh, got Turkey over here to the northeast, Greece, Athens, the Aegean Sea north. That uh, 
Looks like it's right around the Colombo volcano. Um, not specifically underneath the Santorini area, but the Colombo volcano. And that's uh, definitely something to watch here. Let's see. Uh, definitely a, looks like some population out there. I don't know what the population is, but these folks live right on the coast, right on the facing side here of where the uh, a tsunami would be produced if that thing decides to blow underneath the water. Now, let's see what we got. Some information here on that. Stand by for a second. I got just a lot going on here today. The wind uh, is crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. So back in 1650 here, accumulating cone reached the surface. Uh, sent pyroclastic flows across the sea surface to the shores and slopes of Santorini, where about uh, quite a few people there unfortunately died. Uh, the highest parts of the crater rim are now about 10 meters below sea level. I don't know about the uh, expected tsunami if this thing, it all depends on, you know, how much uh, blows down there underneath the area. But um, it's very, I mean, there's earthquake news articles on this, but no, like, official word on anything. I was checking out the volcano discovery site. Let me go back over to that and see, see what we have there in the uh greece area oh good lord so we got uh, santorini still at green the colombo fire uh colombo fire colombo volcano here still at a status of normal or dormant but obviously you know this is something other than just plate tectonics in action here this is a, a very localized event and the usgs reporting this six miles or so below the surface one pretty deep one there 22 miles so we got uh, potential volcanic activity here that we need to watch pretty closely. It looks like all signs are pointing towards some type of uh, magma intrusion in the area. I don't know if we're looking at an, an immediate eruption or not. I don't like I say everything's on like a level one across this area right now out of a five, right? Five being the most escalated with a, a big eruption, but the earthquake activity is telling us something else. You know, we just don't see this type of event happening at a uh, a volcano and not expect something to be uh, coming up here soon. So I'm going to keep watching this and monitoring it. It's more of a volcanic feature out here in terms of localized activity compared to, say, if it was plate boundary activity, right? This swarm followed up by another swarm across the plate boundary. That's obviously stress and strain related, but this here directly related to volcanic activity underneath the region. I don't, well, let me look here and see real quick. I don't think we have any type of monitoring stuff over there. Um, well, actually, there's quite a bit here. I just want to look at the Santorini area. A lot of those are offline, of course. What is it with all this equipment being offline? 2016, 2015. Yeah, a lot of this is just offline. You know, and with those underwater volcanoes, that's uh, a little tricky into uh, you know figuring out all these. All these are old data stations.
But uh, anyway, somewhere underneath here, I think we're going to see an eruption happen uh, with this type of earthquake activity. I'm trying to find a seismograph station over there. Kind of hard to find. I may have to add a uh, a station uh, list here onto my uh, seismograph station so I can find it because uh, there's really not a whole lot localized. Uh, but I can I can do a few different things on there. So I'll keep looking for that. Uh, but yeah, the latest, again, a 4.9 right around that area. These earthquakes are getting bigger. So this is escalating. Definitely not going down. So we'll watch that. I don't like I say in the last two weeks there's been a little bit of migration over here towards the Santorini area, but it looks like it's uh, positioned more just away from that specific volcano. And there's a number of different volcanoes and seamounts out there, but it looks like it's more uh, you know closer to the Colombo, and uh, you know articles here uh, very minimal in terms of of recent activity but I'm sure people may start pick up start to pick up on this and uh, report uh, maybe what's going on here because it's obviously got uh, some potential here if they're stating that uh, the magma chamber is reaching a similar volume to the 1600 or the uh, 1650 eruption the 1600 BCE is from the Santorini volcanic eruption So I'll continue to watch that, folks, and uh, check back on it, see if I can find some more information on that. But uh, we definitely got to watch that area. You know, anything that does blast off underneath this water would be super damaging here to the Santorini area. All these little islands here would be uh, have a uh, tsunami, and potentially the region here as well, depending on how big of an eruption it is. But it's definitely worth watching, I would say. Don't... Uh, I don't see that type of earthquake activity being just normal or background levels. All right, let's see uh, what else we got here across the world real quick uh, as far as any other earthquake activity. California, line of movement here from uh, southern end of the Cascadia down into northern California here. Got a little trail of earthquake activity. Quite a few twos and ones out there. Nothing big happening for now. The rest of California out there, uh, fairly minimal in terms of anything above 2.5. Mostly smaller microquake out here, uh, microquake activity out there today. Uh, the rest of the country, a couple more earthquakes up in the northeast. Things have been moving out here. We've got uh, New Hampshire and New York, a couple of smaller quakes. Of course, remember, historically, uh, this area has seen some, uh, has had some big earthquakes around New York and further up here, upper New York State. Uh, so hundreds, hundreds of years have passed since we've seen any bigger earthquake activity out here. And just a friendly reminder, these little quakes are that, uh, you know, could see a, a big one again. The question is when. Uh, largest magnitude here so far today is going to be a 5.1 across the Peru Chile Trench, 26 miles here into that uh, subduction zone. Rest of the globe out here, aside from that big time movement there at that volcano, uh, shows typical conditions out here across Indonesia Islands area. Clustering of deep quakes around the Tonga Trench. New Zealand, nothing big, just a three pointer down there for now. But uh, things are on the move out here for sure. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Let's check out space weather, see if there's anything major going on here. A little bit of elevated activity, it looks like, here in the last few hours. With some M flare activity kicking up, number of M flares here. So let's see where that's coming from. Last night didn't look uh, like it was all that uh, happening in terms of elevated activity. 3981 and 3977. 77 and 81 here. Well, this, this area has definitely uh, popped up a little bit in terms of complexity. 
Uh, this area is very close here in proximity to the magnetic structure that could produce some flaring. I believe that's where one of the M flares popped up. But uh, looks like this thing back here may be going through a little uh, interesting growing stage. So we'll watch that. I did bump up my M flare potential. X flare is a little bit uh, probably around 5 to 10% as well with that region. The uh, solar ham site reporting 15% chance for X flare, 55 for M flare. Uh, no major roars there in the forecast for now. Uh, Storm Prediction Center. Got uh, not a whole lot of severe weather out there for now. Things are pretty quiet across the board. Uh, here in uh, California, we've got a pretty decent storm system out there. Um, kind of partly cloudy, super windy out right now. There might be some showers today around my neck of the woods. Most of it is up in the mountains, a higher terrain, uh, providing that extra lift for the ample moisture that's in the atmosphere. That uh, is going to continue for a little while. Over the next couple days, got some uh, decent precipitation runs showing for Northern California. Pick up a couple more inches of rainfall there. For my neck of the woods, uh, lots of rainfall across the coast and the mountains. So there's another storm system as well as we head towards Thursday and time, uh, Friday time period. And um, after that, uh, the pattern flips a little bit more like it did earlier back in January where we had a lot of colder air here across the eastern portion of the country. That's returning. Look at all that cold air. Snow and ice back down into Texas. <laughs> yeah, looks like that's going to be a repeat scenario here. Could have some uh, decent snowfall accumulation rates there across the area as we head into uh, uh, February 18th time period. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, either way, total accumulated precipitation runs show some uh, decent precipitation out here for California. Southern California, not so much, but uh, hopefully they get uh, some, some rainfall. Uh, live look at the seismograph stations there. Yellowstone, a couple earthquakes there on that graph. So let's go see what's going on there across the Yellowstone real quick. Sometimes I forget to check. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of earthquake activity. There's just a couple small spikes there on that graph. Really nothing big. Uh, all the seismograph stations there look pretty clear. Uh, the rest of the uh, model there. Nothing major going on. Like I say, I'll continue to watch this uh, movement out around the Colombo volcano, underwater volcano. Last eruption here was 1600. Um, you know, it's not quite underneath the Santorini area where that big eruption happened back in 1650 BCE. But uh, this is more across the volcano, uh, volcanic uh, rift zone here where the Colombo volcano is. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just a lot of earthquake activity. And this ain't going away. These are getting bigger. So I'll keep my eyes open. Uh, if anyone's got any information out there to share, then uh, please do so. You know, there's always volcanoes across uh, Indonesia Islands area. You know, it's just a major volcanic area, but this specific uh, volcano has potential to do some uh, damage for sure. What have we got there? Yellow on this volcano. Did they update that? Um... Yeah, it does look like it was last updated here just a couple days ago. Up down to a, or up to a yellow. We got there some live data. There's the earthquake charts. Uh, I'll have to come back and look at this a little bit. I really don't mess around too much on the Volcano Discovery website. Uh, but it does have uh, quite a bit of interesting information out here all right uh i'm out of here folks i'll keep an eye on it uh, we'll report back on anything here later tonight unless something major happens in between now and then enjoy your sunday we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening